Hi, I'm Gord Langer from Langer Craftworks, and this video today is a supplement to a newsletter that uh, Brian McAvoy and I produce. Um, today we're going to be talking about making uh, French pastry rolling pins on a uh, production basis. We're going to be using a lathe duplicator, and uh, we'll show you how a lathe duplicator can enhance and speed up your turnings. I've taken uh, the blanks. Today I'm using uh, walnut and I've clipped the uh, corners uh, just to make it a little bit faster on the duplicator and I've marked the ends and uh, put a little center hole in the ends. So here we're at the lathe and about to get started. This won't take very long. You'd be surprised how quickly this will work. Um, we're using our uh, handy dandy uh, two inch Elio drive which many of you already have. Uh, they work great uh, both for bowls and also spindle turning. So I'm just going to mount the blank between centers. Uh, my little mark uh, holes uh, come in handy here. And bring up the tailstock. And one key is not to make this uh, too tight. The tighter you make it, the more likely it will be uh, to whip. Again, I'll explain this in more detail in our newsletter. Normally I'd be wearing my uh, face shield and uh, 3M uh, Airstream helmet for this. Uh, this provides positive ventilation uh, by lowering the face shield and uh, plugging it into a battery pack. Uh, I won't be using it today, I'll just be wearing my safety glasses, but normally I would wear this uh, to protect my lungs and clearly my face. And I'll just show you how it fits uh, before I take it off and start with the turning. Alright, just before we turn the lathe on, I'll just show you, uh, there's a little stylus down here that follows a pre-cut uh, template. I've cut this template on my laser, uh, but you can cut the templates and, uh, with anything you need uh, or have, a bandsaw, a jigsaw, just be sure to sand it smooth before you start. I'll be moving the, uh, the cutting tip uh, back and forth with this big ship's wheel and eventually after I do a little bit of rough turning the stylus will follow the uh, template. Alright we'll turn on the lathe. I'm turning at a pretty uh, quickly here. I'm turning at about, uh, what am I turning at here? About uh, 2800 RPM and uh, we'll get it started. It's surprising how much material you can take off. Right now I'm just taking, clipping the end, I'm just finding a nice spot to start with. I'm locking the, uh, the bit in and away we go. and I'll just follow the template back again and pick up the turning. It's important not to go backwards into the turning. So always downhill. Little care taken here as I go to pretty the end of the turning. There we go, that 
that side's done. Now go back to the center. some 80 grit uh, sandpaper in no time and I'll just stop the lathe for a minute and get the sanding operations. All right I've um, finished the turning now and I'm into sanding. It won't take long to sand this. The entire operation takes me a little bit over five minutes start to finish including standing. Uh, I use Sia Soft uh, foam back sandpaper. I think it's one of the best. Uh, in the newsletter I'll explain uh, where you can get that. Uh, I'll just go uh, through all the grits from 80 up to 220. So it'll be a little noisy now as I turn my lathe in reverse and my dust collector on. Lathe's in reverse. minutes you've got your uh, piece ready to take off the lathe. We'll take it off now and uh, we've got uh, a really nice uh, French pasty rolling pin. I'll just clip the ends uh, with a uh, finishing saw, sand the ends up a little bit and put a food grade uh, finish on it and it'll be ready for sale. Uh, thanks for your attention. Uh, you can send me an email if you want the link to the newsletter at uh, gord at langercraftworks.com.